Hey guys, I'm Mark Beach, and welcome to another episode of San Diego's Best, where the purpose of the show is to uncover the best of San Diego, whether you're a local like me or visiting this fine city. So in today's episode, we're gonna talk about San Diego's top five hikes. With San Diego having hundreds of different trails spread out all over the county, we're gonna focus on what's got the best accessibility and the most variety for any hiker. And at the end of the episode, we're gonna crown San Diego's best hike. Number five, Iron Mountain. At just over five miles in length and 1,100 feet in elevation gain, Iron Mountain has a medium hike in a desert-esque mountain setting. Second highest peak in Poway next to Mount Woodson. On a clear day, you can spot the Catalina Islands and the ocean. Located right off the Highway 67 with a large parking lot that does fill up quite fast, this mountain is open to bikers, dogs, and horseback riding. Now there is no shade, so bring sunscreen and lots of water. Number four, Cows Mountain, or correctly pronounced, Coles. This is a three mile uphill hike with a 900 foot elevation gain. Located between La Mesa, Santee, and San Carlos, this is probably, if not, the most popular and crowded hike in San Diego, but worth it. At the top, you'll have a 360 view of San Diego, Mexico, downtown, and the ocean. There is a small parking lot at the bottom of the hill that does fill up extremely fast, so prepare to walk from your car down the street. But hey, you came to walk, so that shouldn't be an issue. This is a dusty trail with no cover, so again, bring lots of water and sunscreen. Bikes, runners, and dogs are allowed on this mountain, so be prepared to feel a little crowded along the trail. Number three, Los Penasquitos Canyon. A 7.3 mile loop trail with a 164 foot elevation gain, this hike is relatively flat. Home to over 500 native plants, 175 types of birds, and 7,000 year old Native American history throughout the trail, this is an easy hike with a year around stream and waterfall that's great for the family. Located between Carmel Valley and Mira Mesa, this trail has several entrance points and small offshoot trails to make this as long or as short as desired. Number two, Torrey Pines. At 2.4 miles and a 330 foot elevation gain, this isn't the most challenging of hikes, but what makes this such a special hike is its location. Between La Jolla and Del Mar, Torrey Pines State Reserve, which is only 1,500 acres, is located right on the beach. And because this is a reserve and there are protected plants and native animals, there are no dogs allowed or outside food. Pack it in, pack it out is their motto, so there are no trash cans located in the reserve. There are several smaller trails throughout the park to fully see the whole reserve, and at the end, there's a beach access point down the cliffs to the sand. And that brings us to our number one hike, Mission Trails. Home to over 8,000 acres and 60 miles of trail, Mission Trails has it all. Established in 1974, Mission Trails has become one of the largest urban parks in the United States. Home to the Five Peak Challenge, Mission Trails has every single style of hike that you could possibly imagine. From flat track to uphill rock climbing, Mission Trails has every level of hike. Some of the reasons that make Mission Trails our number one hike is that it's extremely accessible. Several parking lots scattered around the park and even a road that cuts through allowing you to park and start your hike from your car. Extremely pet and family friendly, the San Diego River runs through the park as well, giving you taller trees for shade and a very scenic waterside trail. Mission Trails also has a ton of history and culture, having been home to the Kumaye Native American tribe. You know, Mission Trails also has the Old Mission Dam built in 1803, which is designated as a historical landmark. And for those reasons, that's why Mission Trails is San Diego's best hike. I'm Mark Beach, San Diego's best realtor. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment on what you think the next episode should be as I explore San Diego's best.